How to port Android apps into Windows 10 for phones. Here, Timber is a Windows app derived from an Android code base. Users tell us they really like the unique Windows design. When you build an app with this technology, it delivers the kind of experience, performance, and security Windows users expect. It automatically translates Android concepts to Windows concepts. For instance, sharing on an Android device looks like this, and on Windows, the same code uses the Windows sharing contract. How do you know how much of your Android code can be reused to build a Windows app? You start by dropping your app into the analysis tool on the Windows developer portal. You see what parts of your app will just work, and you receive actionable guidance on what we recommend you alter. You can configure your project to redirect your app to Microsoft services with little effort. For example, this is the original Timber app on an Android device. With a one-line configuration change in your project, the app on Windows uses Bing Maps. We provide interop and direct API mapping for most commonly used Google Play services such as ads, analytics, in-app purchases, and notifications. And if you want to enhance your app with unique Windows features, such as live tiles, you can use our Java API and a few lines of code to engage users with dynamic tile updates. To make changes or debug your app, you can use your current IDE. We support IntelliJ, Android Studio, and Eclipse. In addition to Windows development machines, you can also use your Mac. When you're ready to publish your app into the Windows Store, you submit it to the Windows Developer Portal. You can track status, ratings, reviews, see analytics, and get paid in one place for all your Windows apps. With significant reuse of your code, you can expand your audience to users running Windows 10. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.